Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Uh, so the update 0 0.4.0.0 uh, dropped over the weekend for the test servers. Uh, if you didn't haven't joined the test servers yet, uh, you can go into Steam and they tell you how to join the test servers uh, and the beta trials and stuff like that through Steam. That way you can actually play this update before it goes live to everybody else. Uh, but anyway, they've added a bunch of stuff, they fixed a bunch of stuff, uh, and updated several things, languages, stuff like that. Uh, I'm not going to cover everything, but I do want to go over this new, um, this new update, uh, mainly about what they've added to the game. So to start off, they, they've added a bunch of sounds. Uh, so they've added new sounds for the fox, the goat, the young goat, sheep, lamb, rabbit, uh, new sounds for the player, drinking, eating, death, hit, stamina, poison, hungry, thirst, freezing, overheating, and drunk. Uh, yes, drunk, because we have brewing now in the game. So obviously they have new sounds for brewing, sounds for the wine barrel, uh, for wicker, pottery, uh, new sounds for wine press. Um, so there's a ton of new sounds in the game with obviously the brewing and the drinking and stuff like that. So uh, they've also added uh, some new buildings. Uh, so they have a new building called the Apiary, uh, which is, I'm assuming, going to be for the beekeeping. And then they also added a new building called Workshop. Now, I know the Workshop was already in the game, um, and you're watching just kind of a b-roll footage right now while I'm talking but the workshop I'm not exactly sure why it's changed now I was playing the game the other night and noticed that when I was in the workshop uh, or excuse me I was in the maintenance tab and looked at the workshop itself through the maintenance tab but it wasn't called the workshop it was called the Smithy One. And my Smithy One that I have built in my, my village on Season 3 is called is apparently Smithy Two. <laughs> so I don't know if they've changed that up or if because I had the workshop built prior to this update and they've added this new workshop building, if it just automatically names the old workshop the smithy one so i haven't gone done a, a whole lot of comparisons yet to see what's different about the the new workshop to the old workshop um but maybe in a future video we will visit that um but anyway moving on uh they've added new professions um blacksmithing and beekeeper uh, new clothing for beekeeper. Uh, they've added new types of fields. Uh, we've got orchards now because obviously we need to be able to grow uh, the different fruits um, to brew wines and mead or whatever we're going to be brewing. Uh, so they've added the orchards. We've added new crops for poppies. Uh, new types of orchard plant. We got the apple tree, cherry tree, pear tree, plum, and then hop um, as well. So if you've played the game and you've noticed the tavern vendors uh, around some of the different towns, so like in Gustovia, the little tavern vendor lady, she used to sell apples, cherries, pears, and plums. Probably nobody ever really bought them because they weren't that useful at, the, at that particular time, uh, except for maybe some of the tarts or something, uh, which I never really got into. But now we were, ab were able to actually plant some of our own trees now, which is really cool. I've even mentioned that in a few past videos, that it would really be nice to be able to plant some of your own trees. Now, I don't know if you have to plant them... Uh, I don't know how they plant yet. I haven't gotten that far. I don't have that many points 
in the game on season three to be able to test this. Uh, but we will definitely get into it. But it would be nice if we can plant like individual trees around your village and having them bloom and produce fruit at different times of the year because i would imagine cherry and apple and pear and plum will probably bear fruits at different times of the year just like your different crops uh are able to be harvested different times of the year <clears throat> and i think that would be really nice and, and it might possibly add a different pop of color throughout your town uh, so as you're building and, and planning your town and, and everything you can say okay look i could put uh, a couple of cherry trees outside this house and then a couple of pear trees outside this house and things like that and then obviously uh, whoever is maining, maintaining these fields will maintain these trees that are outside these different houses so instead of just having a field of cherry trees you can actually place them around your town from what I'm gathering, place them around your town. So maybe do one plot outside each house, maybe a different tree or something. Something we'll have to test that out. Um, once I'm back in the game again and can actually start planting those. I'm hoping that's the way it works. <laughs> Alrighty, so also we have uh, new workbenches. Uh, they've got a woodworking table, a pottery wheel, uh, they've added the brewing station, the wine barrel, and the juice press. Now, I'm assuming that uh, the juice press and these brewing stations are possibly going to be part of... Um, what am I trying to think of? The Tavern? Maybe the Tavern 3? Uh, because I know the Tavern 3 has had the press already in it. It's been in the game for quite a while. Um... So those items, some of those items may already be in there. Now, as far as the pottery wheel, I'm not sure if they, because they said a, the apiary and the workshop. So I don't know if the pottery wheel might be part of the new workshop. Interesting. I'll have to look at that when I'm back in the game. Uh, but anyway, so the, they've got the new workbenches, the, the word woodworking table, pottery wheel, Brewing station, wine barrel, and juice press. I just mentioned those. Sorry about that. Uh, let's see. New items for fields. Obviously, you've got seedlings for the different uh, trees and stuff we had mentioned just a little bit ago for the orchards. Uh, let's see. New items. Juices. So we have a berry juice, an apple juice, cherry juice, pear juice, and plum juice, which makes sense since we're going to have those fruits. Juices do make sense. Uh, I'm not sure if the juices are going to be something that are like um consumable like breakfast juices or if they're considering these juices uh like for um the brewing station or something for making the alcohols and stuff uh let's see new items alcohols they got berry wine apple wine cherry wine pear plum they have mead oat ale oat beer rye beer and wheat beer and then of course we can make bottles as well the beer bottle the wine bottle and the mead bottle uh, let's see new item in the apiary is the honeycomb so obviously the apiary is going to be for the bees uh, and new food items uh, we've got mushroom soup now so we can actually utilize mushrooms from the fall and make a soup with them and i believe i saw that the soup was obviously going to be a bowl and then it was going to be um I think it was three meat and then three of each of the uh, three mushrooms or something. It's like, it's, it's, I remember it being three mushrooms. I just don't remember which mushrooms. Uh, and it, I believe it was three of each of the three mushrooms. Now, obviously there are mushrooms in the game that you can eat. And then some that actually tell you that it will poison you. Uh, let's see. So we've got... So the, we've got the mushroom soup, we got uh, porridge with berries, porridge with apple, we have scrambled egg, scrambled egg with mushroom, ooh, wow, that's pretty cool, uh, vegetable soup, along with the mushroom soup, we have vegetable soup, wheat rolls, pear tart, plum tart, poppy seed pie, and cherry pie. Man, they've added a lot of food to the game. 
Uh, let's see, new extraction talent, uh, master of destruction. It doesn't give a description on what that actually is, um, but we'll have to look at that in the game later. Uh, let's see, new farming talents, uh, or excuse me, new talents altogether. So we've got, it looks like we have three farming talents. So skilled farmer, skilled orchardman, carrot and stick. Now I'm assuming the carrot and stick may have something to do with utilizing the horse for farming. That just makes sense to me. Uh, like you're going to be leading your leading an animal around to do work for you. I don't know whether it's going to be the cow or the horse or what, but we'll have to look into that as well. The new uh, hunting talent, steady hand. We have a new survival talent. Actually, we have two survival talents. One is headstrong, one is insensitive. Uh, and a new diplomacy talent, which is empathy. Again, it doesn't give descriptions on what they do or anything. We'll have to look at that in game. Uh, let's see, custom save names, which is actually really cool. I noticed this uh, when I uh, had logged into the game just last night because uh, I had been out of town over the weekend. But when I'd logged in and went to go kind of check out some of these these items, I was able to name my save. Uh, typically, in the past, before this update, for my Season 3 or even my Season 2, I was making sure to save those seasons according to the 0, zero one through three because that's it was easy for me to keep up with season one two and three that way um so now i was able to actually name it season three and save it like that so it's really cool to do that now um i know people have been asking to be able to save the or name the saves that they've had that way it was easy for them to go back and play different times uh, of saves or if they were saving a particular quest and didn't want to do it right away they could always go back to do it uh, or in my case uh, saving different seasons uh, because my season one I didn't really have any rules or restrictions or anything on the game as I was playing it it was just as it was out of the box play the game uh, and played season one I believe I got almost through year 11 on season one and then of course season two is when i started adding in some of the restrictions and stuff uh we may have went a little overboard with season two but again it added a fun level to it made it interesting and it made the it made me as a player think and i know i've had other people uh also doing uh the the season two and season three challenges uh, according to the rules and stuff. But anyway, this allows people to save and name the saves uh, accordingly. So it makes it easy for you to go back to whatever save it is that you're looking for. Uh, maybe it was a quest or something you wanted to save it and you named it that quest. Uh, so that's, I think that's a, a pretty good addition. Um, I'll have to worry about all the trees and the brewing and stuff. I don't know how beneficial it is. Uh, now granite brewing may to have something, have a lot to do with um, your NPC happiness, uh, your villagers happiness. Um, that's what I'm gathering. <laughs> but anyway, let's see, we've got new animations for the player and NPCs for pottery brewing, woodworking, wine, and juice crafting. New animation for the NPC to pick fruit from the trees. Obviously, they have to have an animation for that, so that's going to be new. Uh, let's see. A screen effect for alcohol intoxication. So probably the screen is going to go wonky and kind of wavy like you're drunk, I guess. <laughs> a snow effect on fences and bridges. Oh, that's kind of cool. So the snow, I'm assuming the snow is going to be on the, like on the, the bridges, it's going to be on the hand railings, and then of course on the surface where you walk. Now I don't know whether they're going to, I don't know whether it's going to have tracks like already through it, like people have traveled over the bridge and then snow has built up again, or if it's just going to be 
having that snow on top of the bridge. Um, let's see. When field workers are harvesting or collecting crops, they check whether the storages are full. Interesting. I thought they already did that. Because once they're full, they stop collecting. So if there's no room in their in the resource storage or, or food storage, and there's also no room in the personal storage for whatever workstation they're at, as far as I knew, they stopped collecting. So I don't know if this does something different, like they're going to... I don't know, it doesn't give a description on why they would check whether the storages are full. Because I thought they were already doing that. Uh, let's see. If anybody knows about that, uh, leave it in the comments below. Let me know. Maybe it was broken before or something, but I was pretty sure that they stopped collecting if the storages were full. Now, maybe there's a different reason why they're checking to see if they're full. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Uh, let's see. There's I, they've added icons for professions for NPC assignment. Um, a memorial tree on the map. Well, that's interesting. A memorial tree. So I'm assuming... Is that if the player dies? Would that be... A, and that's where the memorial tree would be? I'm going to have to look into that because I don't, I'm not sure about the memorial tree at all. But that's, that's makes sense to me. I'll have to look into that. Uh, let's see. New spots with crashed or abandoned carts with loot. Oh, very cool. So we have the one crash cart that I'm aware of is between Gustovia and Sambor's Hunting Lodge on that, on that road there. Off the right hand side, you can actually see the broken fence. Uh, and of course, the cart's crashed up against a tree. And there's like uh, three cross uh, bow bolts. There's a wagon wheel. There's the water skin, a coif, and a coin pouch with one coin in it uh, that you can actually pick up at that crash cart. But it looks like they're adding more crash carts and abandoned carts uh, around the map. So that is very cool. Alrighty, let's uh, they fixed. Looks like they fixed a bunch of stuff. I am not going to go over everything that they fixed, but the first thing here is sometimes field workers are working after six p.m. Apparently, they fixed that. Um, the barn one has wrong ghost wall models. I don't know that I've ever noticed that. Uh, Apparently there's an event that takes all the buckets, not just their contents. <laughs> uh, let's see, Matilda is mentioning sheep in dialogue. So Matilda is the sewing lady in Denica. And apparently she mentions in her dialogue, uh, mentions sheep in her dialogue, and there's only goats there now. Um, but they used to have, there used to be sheep there. So apparently that's been fixed. Uh, so I, I never ever noticed that. Field worker with invisible tool plows or sows the same spot repeatedly. He's just being very thorough. Uh, but there's a lot more stuff on the fixed list. Uh, and then of course there's stuff on the updated list as well. They've added different languages and things to the game or obviously updated different languages to the game, not added. Uh, Organizers for building management types like animals. Uh, let's see, the dob price is lowered. Oh, that's nice. I'll have to look to see how much that is. Uh, let's see, the, the real Unreal Engine version changed to 4.26, if that matters to, you know, anybody playing the game. <laughs> uh, let's see, sticks, logs, stone, clay, straw, broadleaf, plantain, St. John wort, and both types of berries uh now can be sold again okay so there was so after the last update before this one you couldn't sell these items 
steps. Uh, and I noticed there was a lot of people that were telling me that in, in uh, chats and I saw it on different forums and things like that. I never really paid a whole lot of attention to it myself, um, but they have fixed that now. Everything but logs have it has a functional price. Uh, I'm not sure what that means as a functional price, but that's good that you can actually sell the sticks, the logs, the stone, the clay, the straw, the broadleaf plantain, the St. John's wort, and both types of berries can now be sold again. Uh, because I know that some people starting out would go and uh, collect berries and then sell them for the coin, which is a good way to actually uh, make coin early on in the game uh, because you can go and pick those unripe berries and then sell them. Uh, and I believe they were one coin a piece or something. Um, I don't know if the ripe berries are more coin or not. Uh, something I'll have to check out again in a different video. Uh, but the broadleaf plantain and the St. John's wort, that used to be kind of my go-to first starting in the game. I would go and I would literally pick broadleaf plantain or actually I would get into the game, I would pick sticks and rocks and make uh, stone knives right off the bat so I can get that survival skill up and get that uh, skill point in, I can't remember the name of the, the particular ability, but it's the ability to where you can actually use the, um, I believe it's the control button or the alt button and you can see the plants. Um, I apologize for not knowing that terminology right now. Um, and it, from that point on, I would pick Broadleaf Plantain and St. John's Wort. I, you could find them in patches all over the, the, the map. Um, and I would literally load up on those. And you can easily make, you know, a thousand, two thousand more coin uh, very easily within your first season. And it would cover a lot of expenses. You could pick up different items early in the game. So like the crossbow uh, over in Hornica. And then of course you could you could have been picking up the crossbow bolts from the crash cart. Because you get three at the crash cart each time it respawns. Um, I'm not 100% sure on when it respawns on the crash cart. Uh, but it seems like it might be every other day. I'm not sure. If somebody knows for sure when the respawn is on the original crash cart on the way to Sambor, leave it in the comments below. That way everybody can know. Uh, and if you have, are playing the test version and you know the locations for the new crash carts with the loot, uh, maybe start you know, posting those in the comments, or better yet, uh, join the Discord server. So the link is in the description below. Come and join uh, the Hectic Nasari Gaming Discord server. There's a section there for Medieval Dynasty, and of course, Seven Days to Die, and then Valheim. These are the games that I'm, I'm currently playing right now and posting for. But there's a section on there for Medieval Dynasty. Feel free to go into that section and post anything you want about the game, questions, comments, uh, different locations about stuff, helpful hints, um, you know, and share it with the community because we are trying to grow the community even more. Uh, but anyway, I think that we are going to be done with this particular update right now. We will probably most definitely hit a lot of this stuff in future videos coming up. Uh, that way we can see if we can actually do some of these items. I'm still kind of early in the season on our season three, uh, but we will eventually get to all of this stuff. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate you folks joining me for this video today. Uh, if you are liking it, please smash that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It greatly helps the channel and I appreciate it a lot. Uh, and again, like I had mentioned before, please come over and join the Discord server. Uh, we'd love to have you over there and uh, commenting and joining the community on this game or any other game that I post for. And you folks take care and happy hunting.